Hello. Welcome in. Yes, this is no longer the long dark. This is Choo Choo Charles. Because, oh freaking boy. This game has been on my radar for a little bit and, uh, and yeah. It released today. I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but something has happened at the mines I've been supervising. No, trust me, you'll want to make time for this. You're looking for something big to keep your museum in business. Well, there's something big on that island. Real big. So many friends. And even my own son are still out there. If anyone can bring this thing down, it's you. It'll be the biggest attraction your city's ever seen. And you can help an old friend. Yes, meet me on the docks at sunset. I hope you're ready for a little monster hunt. I love how Eugene is, you know, very much in the line of, I got you four basic food groups. Whiskey, beans, butter, and lard. Uh, well, the game also says we only pick away your left off every time. Okay. Yes, sir. They call him Charles. Half train, half giga spider from hell. We've been planning his demise for some time now and have nearly everything in order. Just a few people to meet and places to see. Simple errands, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to Erinirum, the island where miners dig their own graves. Stay close. Charles isn't the only thing to fear around here. Okay. Can I get back on the boat and leave now, please? Uh... Hmm. I was kind of hoping there'd be a V-Sync setting, but it doesn't appear to be. There's a little bit of screen tearing. Can't do anything about that. There's a train shed at the top of the hill. One of the train operators was killed early on by the beast. So his old engine should be in there. Okay. Uh, uh, dude, uh, it's the chiropractor. I don't think your neck is supposed to be like if that. we can get to it, it could be an indispensable tool on our journey. Stay close. We don't want to be exposed for too long. <laughs> what I am going to do, actually, is... Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. What am I doing? Oh, fucking hell, buddy. You really are lagging it. Also, why are the train tracks down to the harbour? Um... Okay, something I'm going to do, because I'm noticing that I've gone from... ...to high. Because I was noticing that my FPS counter was going from 110, or like 120, to 60 very rapidly, and I'm like, hmm... That's indicative, isn't it? Ah, oh, shucks, it's locked. Not to worry, we can still find a way in. There's a small shack up the path that might have a key inside. Buddy, your head's not supposed to turn that much. Take this map, I just marked the location on it. See if the key is up there, and I'll look around some more down here. Again, sorting out settings. Bring that up to 60. There we are.
Okay. It's a very... Interesting thing, ain't it? Obviously, this is literally version 1. I don't know why the map is so loud. Ah, yes, very secure. Just got an achievement called Baby's First Mission. Game, seriously. And look at you, you went and found the key. Oh, well done. Pat on the head, good boy. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. She's an oldie but a goodie. I'm going to inspect the train's exterior. Why don't you take a peek inside, see what we got to work with? Your epic train. Use it to navigate the island. A weapon and shield against your foes. Your risk will point if things go wrong. Okay. Oh. That's kind of neat. How do I... Oh, escape to get off. That's... Hmm. Well, the exterior is a little rough, but everything looks to be intact. That gun you were looking at wasn't on here when I was evacuated from the island, but it sure looks fun to use. <laughs> Called you an American. We can light up Charles with it and take him down before he even sees us coming. Are you ready to take this thing for a spin? Yeah, baby! We're coming for you, Charles! Do you hear that? Oh, it's him. fucking it's him. hell! Working on it! Oh, we just ran over our friend's body. Lovely. Shit. All right. Jesus. Oh, you could do literally do three sixties. Okay, good to know.
Oh, a little bit, a little bit further to go. There we go. I'd like all of these are uh, marked. I think I'm going to go down this way just because there's the most stuff to do down that way. Seems like the best choice. Choo choo, motherfucker! <laughs> yes, hello, Sophie. We've already had our first interaction with Charles, and he killed our friend, and we're. 15 minutes in. So it's going well. Also, I don't know why the map is so loud. I can't do anything about that. Howdy, neighbor. Eugene told us we'd have a newcomer soon. I suppose that would be you. What gave it away? There's some scrap metal in the balcony room of my house that you could use to repair and upgrade your train. Here's the key. And although the balcony is right behind me, I'll just mark it on your map anyway. As a side note, talk to anyone around here and uh, they'll do whatever they can to help. Anyone not wearing a mask, that is. Check out the balcony and take whatever you mask. want. Good luck with everything. Doing gas mask, face mask, opera mask. What are we talking here? You just gave me a bloody key. Oh, there we are, that's why. Holy hell, okay. I'll have all of it, thank you. We're waiting patiently as we can, but the last few days have been more chaotic to say the least. Charles has been more aggressive lately, to the point where I'm starting to fear how many of us will be left by the time help arrives. Godspeed, Eugene. We're counting on you. Why would you live on an island with Charles? Um, I'm not... well... I think what's happened in the 30 seconds of exposition that I got is I'm somebody who is a part of a museum. I don't even have a name. Um, Eugene basically rings you, like, rings you up on a phone and goes, Hey, um, Charles Mining Company. Oh, no. That feels foreboding. Um, do that and that. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so you're no oh that's the point. Oh, I thought the exterior would change, but apparently not. Maybe I don't have enough upgrades in armor yet. Um So yeah, Eugene rings you and goes, um a whole bunch of people living on this island. Uh we've got some we've got something big on the island to save your museum. Um and it's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, prepare to do some monster hunting. And then just hangs up the phone. So we get here. Charles paddles us over to an island. Not Charles. Eugene uh, rows us over to an island. Gives a little bit of explanation. And then we meet Charles for the first time and he dies. That's important. That train. Not train. That box, rather. Going to need that. But yeah, apparently Charles is just like the local boogeyman, essentially. At least that's what it looks like. Yeah, that's much better.
Look, kid, I know you're supposed to be some fancy pants monster hunter, but you can't earn my respect without making yourself useful. Okay. One of Warren's goons dumped a locked chest in the yard last night. After beating on it for a few hours, I didn't break anything but a sweat. I got some lock picks, but I don't know how to use them. Here, take them. If you can get that chest open, you'll earn my respect. I might just give you some scraps to help improve your train. Train graveyard. Oh, that's actually quite intuitive. That beats Skyrim's and Oblivion's bloody lockpicking bollocks. Say that much. Pissing down with rain and you're wearing a tank top, shorts and flip-flops. Alright, you're one of those people. <laughs> well, fancy fingers here got the chest unlocked. <laughs> That's an odd looking piece of junk you found inside there. Bit of a letdown, to be frank. I know, I know. The pattern combo is awful. You earned my respect. So here's some scraps, like I promised. Okay. Don't mind if I do. How many do I have? 20. Holy hell! How many did you give me? Uh, I'm gonna go with armor this time. The outside changed yet. Yeah, look! It's no longer scratched and horrible! Looks like a very, very early version of a panzer, doesn't it? Wait! Yep, because jumping off a moving train, definitely, that's going a little bit too far. Hold on a second. Just, just finessing the trade, don't worry. The monster hunter has arrived, I see. Yes, it is I, the monster hunter, the nameless protagonist. This is no ordinary hunt, mind you. We've already tried fighting Charles, but he retreats into the wilderness if he is sufficiently harmed. We believe there may be a way to get Charles to commit to a mortal battle, however. Okay. Dispersed around the island are three eggs, locked in the island's three primary mines. Our theory is that putting these eggs in the temple at the center of the island will provoke Charles into a fight to the death. That at the library. <laughs> Melvin the Museum Guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, the mining company owner, Warren Charles III, has placed armed guards inside each mine to protect the eggs. Oh, lovely. There's an egg in the mine just down the rail. Here's the key to the mine. I've marked the entrance on your map. How do you have that? You know what? I'm not even going to question why you have that key. All right, love. Ooh, scrappy, scrappy bulls. Don't mind me. Oh, almost missed that one. And this one, I am not paying attention to my environment. How are we doing? Ten scraps. Let's go with weapon damage. So that's the mine, okay. Oh. Why do I get the feeling you had something to do with a flamethrower? I made a little flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see, that is slightly uh, backfired. <laughs> Nearly cooked myself alive in that shed as I was testing it. Shoot dang. I would love to save the shed though. If a uh, flamethrower somehow still works after the fire dies down, well, you can take it. 
I'd assume you're the monster hunter that folks have been expecting, so uh, a weapon like this could come in handy. What I like about this game so far in the 20 minute, or not, or maybe not even 20 minutes I've been playing, is that it doesn't take itself seriously. It knows it's goofy. Oh, yep, yeah, no, that's not a good idea. Okay, got it. Yoink. I mean, you can't take a game about a train monster and take yourself seriously, I think. I mean, uh... True. Well, it's... I guess the, the, I guess the correct way would be saying that is that it doesn't take itself too seriously. Like, there's clearly, like... There's clearly a plot and you're expected to follow it, which is fine. Using the water tank to put out the fire! Pure genius! Woohoo! That's low praise coming from a guy who literally set his house on fire. Here, take old bug spray. Cause of this chaos. I don't want to see it anywhere near here again. Shoot dang. It also really feels like how can we make how can we make the NPCs as American as possible? <laughs> Ooh, paint. <gasps> Orange paint! I can paint trains. Making the train orange. Wait, he set his house on fire trying to kill bugs? Um, I don't think... I don't know. He was testing a flamethrower to do with Charles. Um. Okay. Uh, if I like my frames... That is not the gun to use. It's orange. Right, who's who's next? Literally the mine. Okay. I got to do some sneakies, aren't I? That makes me very happy. <laughs> I'm going to stop. Ooh. Crap. Always wanted to drive trains to be honest. It was actually like, you know, you know that thing at school where you're like, oh, what do you want to be when you go up? And to nobody's great surprise at the time, I was like, I want to be a train driver. And then I found out I had to go to university and I was just like, oh, maybe not then. <laughs> Scrapdoony. Scrap. Any more delicious scrap? I just, I just never liked the idea of going to uni. Um, I've entertained it, obviously, because back when I was um, studying game development, I um, was thinking about going. Is there a crouch button? I don't think there is. Hold on. Settings. Input. Mappings. We got lean, but we don't have. Oh, that's awful. Okay, let's not do that. But we don't have crouch. Which is certainly interesting. Uh, while mining the furthest tunnel, we broke through a wall into a large cavern. There's something strange here. We don't know what it is. We requested Mr. Warren visit the south southern mine site at his earliest convenience to give us further instruction. Eugene. Oh, poor bugger. And lean left or right. Okay. Mm, delicious scrap.
Ah, I see a chest. Oh, come on. Take it back. The system's worse than Skyrim and Oblivion. There we go. Oh, green paint. We can make me trade a nice olive drab. Which, for those who don't know, is the uh, standard colour of uh, the US Army. You know, when they're not in Afghanistan, because then it's just whatever desert camo that is. Well, this isn't creeping. At all. Why does the sound of me? Oh. Okay. Sounds like he's over there. Who's that? Oh, fuck off. No, 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 no. I don't want to say that was easy, because if I say that because if I say that was easy, that means that the next like three two, three mines are gonna be awful. But uh yeah, like, that dude was terrible at his job. <laughs> Let's be honest, I think now we're gonna... Well, we've done that at least. Sayonara! Oh wow, we really get a shift on, don't we? What does green look like? Oh, very bright. Hopefully. Uh, we'll stop just by this crossing, I think. Stop a little bit past. That's the wrong way. My bad. Ba -da -ba -da. Switch that over. Run back to the train. Up we go. Then forward.
Loading all the supplies has been an incredib incredibly eye-opening experience. Here at the port, we've been working all day, every day. We've been tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies up the hill to the tracks where Theodore and Eddie deliver them to the different sites we'll be mining. The sheer cost of all this infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success of Warren's found. Uh-oh! There he is! Tend to. Like a lot, lot further. All the music indicates Charles the Charles is close. I think so. Um, doesn't say for certain. But oh boy, he does not like us. For the past seven days, there have been some strange happenings in the nearby boulder field. A week ago, I went over there to clear my mind, as I often do, and found a strange drawing pinned to a lamppost. I took down the page and burnt it, because that seemed like the best way to deal with paranormal paper. The next night, I found even more drawings and burned them as well. I found exactly 16 drawings, multiple nights in a row, and now they're accompanied by horrific, ghastly noises. I don't feel safe going out there again. My best guess is the place is haunted. Maybe by our lost crew members? Maybe by something else? Howdy! Say, you're that monster hunter. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? Oh boy. The, the issue is, is that I don't know whether or not you can hear it. Um, but I did hear Charles' whistle go off, which is how I knew he was coming. He just found zero of eight. Okay. Is this... Is this a... F Is this a fucking Slenderman reference? Feels like a Slenderman reference. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yes, it is, yes, it is, yes, it is. Oh my lord. Oh, fuck off. Oh! Oh, okay. Uh, no. I'll oh, fuck off, you spooky bitch. Uh, 
Oh, ce ce fucking ce doua. Oh, that's literally another mission. Okay. So this will be page six. No, 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 no,
You don't. Lovely. Just there forever. Really? Collect eight pages and weird rambling spirit person who just sounds like microphone feedback. <laughs> just uh, just this straight up disappears. Okay. Again, like, I feel like this game is serious, because it is, but I think it's serious in its goofiness, if that makes sense. Thanks for bringing me those papers. Here are some scraps for your help. Thank you. Ah, pretty much. Let's say, where'd the part be trade? Over there. Right. Oh my lord, so many. Yoink, yoink, yoink. And then also, yoink. Alright, so... I'm going to need to actually reverse here. Ah yes, 360... Good news, 360 no-scopes are possible in this game. Wonder who maintains the tracks. Uh, we don't question the spirit of Charles. Probably Charles that does it. Uh, through some form of weird eldritch wizardry. That maybe or maybe it not involves his eggs. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. Any more little scrappy pools for me? I'd very much like some scrap. I'll take your word for it, yeah. Who, who's down here? They actually, they're on the pier itself. Okay. I need to stop doing that. Oh, scrap! Where art thou, oh lovely scrap? Up. Oh, hey, buddy. My goodness, the others actually convinced someone to come help us. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. You're just standing in the rain? Okay. Although, now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? It's a dangerous journey for sure. But you might manage with that train of yours. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Just please, bring the journal next time you're here. Okay. Wink. Wink. Well, like, okay. I, I, I say that, you know, it's probably Charles and his eldritch egg witch magic, magic ray. But also at the same time, like, Supposedly, before Charles became a problem, there was a whole bunch of mining going on on the island. I'm just going to turn down the sound effects just a little bit. That thunder is incredibly loud. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So before Charles became a problem, there was a lot of mining industry. So these tracks are pro probably 
I'm assuming the maintenance has practically slowed down to a halt because of Mr. Spiderlegs himself. But I'm also assuming that at the same time I, I'm guessing maintenance has only just stopped. That makes sense. Oh, back up there. Okay. Can I outrun my train? No, I can't. Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah. Uh, so I pretty much have to go past where Sasha was. All right. Not a fan of the sudden lack of music, not gonna lie. Almost perfect. Why do I get the feeling that's the temple I need to bring all of Charles's unhatched offspring to? What it feels like. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Right. Okay, so... Tell you what, let's go this way. All the way around. Then we can do these missions here. We've got one, two, three, four, five NPCs to do. I am hearing music. Which means maybe... Mr. Man himself is about to appear? Oh shit, wrong way. Don't mind me, just leading out the side of a train. Oh, here he comes. There he is. I think you get scrapped for hit injuring him. There he goes. This brings back all my childhood nightmares about Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair.
Jesus. Uh, let's do that one. Where are we? Ah, oh, lovely. Perfect. I think there's only three more weapons to find. I think that's another mine, but I think I need to meet somebody before I can go in there. Just put a map marker in, that'll be smart, won't it? Ooh, a lot of scrap there. Doink. Oh, well, I say a lot. Not really that much, but hey. <laughs> it's a survival game which I rely upon my Steam engine, so every little bit... Ah, oh, there's fucking more back there! It's fine, it's not on the bridge anymore. It is kind of encouraging you to leave the train, isn't it? To go find more scrap, like just here, there and everywhere. Oh, that's going way too far. Get back here! I guess this would be the, like, out of all the upgrades, one of these, what would have been nice, would have been, um, breaking power, because it takes so long to break. Like, it's actually quicker for me to slam it in the other direction. I really don't want to be outside when Charles comes around. Yeah, me neither. Hello? Anybody home? No. I've discussed our latest battle plan with everyone and no one has no one had objections. The whole crew knows what to do and will set up the track directions accordingly when the time comes. All the archivist needs to focus on is pummeling that beast, keeping his distance and getting Charles to his weakest point. My father should be back within two days, at which point we can supply him and the hunter with the keys and other supplies we've gathered. We never wanted to take such harsh action against Warren and the other miners, but he's twisted our arms for too long. Charles needs to go, and Warren won't stand in our way. So, mine owner finds secret, forbidden, don't touchy touchy thing. Besides, well, I, Richard, I own a mining company and it's in my mind, so therefore it's mine and I'm going to touchy touchy. And now we have Charles. We've been staking out this area for days and Charles has never crossed the old wooden bridge. Somehow that beast is cunning enough to know it's dangerous, but if he's angry or desperate, he might just chase someone across it. Then bam. So you're saying that he delved too greedily and too deep? Yes. They awoke something. That has slumbered for centuries. Then bam, we use John's bombs to provide the whole thing up and Charles falls face first into the canyon. The blast doesn't give him the full, full surely would. Oh, there you are. Sorry, I've just been nicking all your shit. Hope you don't mind. You're the archivist my father told me about. Although... I'm disappointed to see that he chose to stay on the mainland rather than return with you. Of course he did. He's got millions of money. What is he going to do other than... He's not going to risk his life. He's going to sit on it like a fucking dragon. Not to say that your help isn't appreciated, but we could have used his aid as well. If you haven't already heard from the others, the mine boss Warren is protecting dangerous monster eggs that could Pardon lead me. to catastrophe. While our main plan is to summon Charles into a duel and fight him to the death, We've devised a perfect trap as a precaution that may help defeat him. Go attach these remote explosives to each of the support pillars under the wood bridge out there. Then meet me back here. Ah.
And what, I'm supposed to trust your bloody judgement as to when you'll do it? So ba basically, yeah, he was... This island is, the, is Warren's fucking Moria, really. Eight bombs! This game likes the number eight, doesn't it? Eight pages, eight bombs. I have to go further down? I think I do. What's a little fall damage between friends, eh? Okay, am I being dumb? I think I might be being dumb. Mine, aside from the whole, you know, jumping down cliffs thing. Keep forgetting, this isn't the long dark. <laughs> there, There is a jump button that isn't just, you know, fall off. Fall off? Fall off? Fall off? No. It isn't just a fall off thing. Hope for best. Uh. Oh, the highlight thing doesn't show up until you're practically right next to it. That's slightly irritating. There we go. Oh, uh oh. Two scraps? I'm also slightly disappointed that it didn't say you were derailed, rather than... Um, rather than just derailed. Two old precious scraps. That cost me. An area municipal building. Oh, frames. That's the tallest and weakest bridge on the island. So if Charles ever crosses it, we can blow him sky high. I'll be on standby to detonate the charges, but it's still up to you to summon and fight him. Okay. Here, take this. It's the key to the temple. Once you think you're prepared enough, you can break in and fight the battle of a lifetime. I don't think I'm prepared enough. Ew, we got a lot more to do. Who's next? Oh, there's the temple, okay. Pop that there. I think a good quality of life thing would have been to not, um, name or label the NPCs until you meet them. I think that would have been a, a smart decision choice. And who knows if they add more stuff to this game. Holy hell, lady. I swear to god, if you turn around to me and say, Goddamn varmints! Ow. My own fault. I'm stealing your scrap, by the way. I make no apology. 
got to recover my losses from when I was derailed. So, the fabled hunter. Of course, your name's Gertrude. Arrived. You know, my late husband built a gun to help fight Charles, but Warren's goons stole the barrels and took him up to their camp. Bob was such a brave man. Much braver than you, I bet. Bob and Gertrude. I'm freezing just seeing everyone run around, run around on this rainy day in tank tops. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's I think it's just the mentality, I think. Like, you know, you see Canadians wandering about in the snow in, like, jeans and shorts. Oh, hello. Well, not jeans and shorts, but, like, jeans and t-shirts. Because they're Canadians. In the same way that you sometimes see Norwegian people run around in jeans and t-shirts when it's, you know, freaking here. Up, up to here in snow. If you take what I have left of the gun and steal back those other parts, you can put it back together to use against Charles. Just do me one favor, will you? If you do end up using it, name it Bob in memory of my honey. I used to do a Russian guy who'd wear shorts and t-shirt in the snow in, in winter in the snow. All right, where am I going? That's not too far. I'm just running up a fucking... Oh, game. Thank you. Just running up like a laundry list of things to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-oh. 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 Really wish this thing didn't overheat as off quickly as it did. Oh. Ah, uh, frame drops. Not a fan, not a fan. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm sensing weapon damage and armor are going to be very important uh, things. I got very lucky in that fight. Very lucky. I kind of wish that right click took you off the gun rather than escape. Just because it's a little bit awkward. Hit escape when you're trying to W A W A S and D at the same time. To go back to the whole clothing versus weather situation or conversation, um, there was a time where I could wear pretty much anything and just not be affected by the weather. 
um, for example, um, I used to, I landed in the Canary Islands with, uh, with the family on a holiday. Oh, excuse me. And I genuinely walked into, I think it was Alicante, Alicante Airport wearing boots, uh, bondage trousers. Um, a t-shirt and a leather jacket. And this is also back when I used to have like really, really, really long hair. Um, and I was fine. Just wasn't affected by it. Um, this is also rough around the same time that I, um, I walked down to a friend's house, like during, at the time, the coldest winter in the local area. Or well, the coldest winters in the local area uh, for many years. And I just walked down to his, or to theirs, sorry, because they're twins. And I hung out with both of them. Um, I'd walk down to theirs and just turn up in like jeans and t shirt. And they're like, Are you cold? I went, Well, when I stepped at the house, I was. But by the time I started walking down here, I was all right. And they're like, You're mad. And I went, I'm not mad. I'm just aware. Like, I know I, I get, like, I get really, I get really warm when I start walking. Like, really quite hot. Like, if it wasn't for, like, the rain, I could walk, like, I, I could walk pretty much anywhere. And by the time I get there, I will be warm enough that my clothes will be wet, but they'll dry up very quickly. <laughs> so I don't, I didn't mind the, uh, the cold. Like, um, there's, I used to, when I used to go to college, uh, doing carpentry, there was like this outbuilding where we where we were doing our level one, our joinery course. And at this time, I was living in living in the village that I grew up in. I would leave my house with like a t shirt, like like a like an like, like an undershirt, basically, a t shirt, a hoodie, and a jacket because it was so cold and so windy. By the time I would have gotten to where the building that I needed to go, the hoodie, the coat, and the t and the t shirt had all come off because I was that warm from walking, <laughs> sort of thing. So it was just like, you know, it's like yeah, it feels really cold, but I know the moment I start moving, I'll be fine. So but yeah, there we are. Anyway, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be back in like two minutes. I'll be right back. Gonna leave some music on so there isn't any like dead audio.
Alrighty, I'll actually put some water on the stove for the for pasta. Ooh, what are you making? Tell me all the things. What are you making with, uh... With pasta? What are you going to put on your pasta? You know, leave the music up and then just turn it down a little bit. That is quite loud. Also, pretzel. So the so the music player music player that I use is um, Pretzel Rocks. Um, I managed to get the legacy price, so it's like six seven pound a month rather than fifteen. Um, And um, they've updated their player recently, and I'm a little bit not sure I like the update, <laughs> truth be told. It does run smoother, I have to say, but I, I'm not like, I would have been fine with that if it hadn't, if it hadn't changed the UI, but it has just uh, changed the UI, which is sad times. So... And I'm back. What what are you making? What what are you making with pasta, Sophie? What do you make? What do you what are you putting on it? What are you having with it? Tell me all the things because I am a fat man and I need to know all about the food. At last night's meeting, Greg told us a crazy conspiracy about Warren trying to use spider trains for world domination. Just pesto from a jar because of a lazy bum. Hey, no, it's. And some fresh rocket salad. To be fair, that sounds a lot more healthy than what I would make with pasta. <laughs> I recently found a place where I can get a where I can get like um garlic sausage, like like Polish garlic sausage, and um chorizo on the cheap, like chori like chorizo sausage rings on the cheap. Um, so I've been making a lot of that with pasta. <laughs> So I'm like, mm, I'm never going to be a skinny man. <laughs> I'm never going to be a skinny man. <laughs> Pasta and sausage is such a good combo. Yeah, it is. Because, like, I mean, I'm pro probably not doing it right. Um, but what I do is I make the pasta. I... Drain it. Keep a cup of the pasta water. If I if I remember this bit, that the pasta water bit. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, then in a wok, because my frying pan is far too small for the amount of sausage. Uh, skinny's overrated. Not necessarily healthy either. I'm in the process of letting go of that ideal. Yeah, exactly. Like. I used so funny so fun. Uh, I'll exp I'll finish the pasta and then I'll get to the comment I was about to make. Um, so I'd fry up the, the sausage and the chorizo in a wok. Add the the jar of pasta sauce after you know the sausages have cooked um, thoroughly or fried rather. Um, then I would add the pasta sauce in, mix that all that all together, because here's the thing with chorizo, when you fry chorizo sausage, you get chorizo oil at the bottom of your wok, which is amazing. Um, so you mix that in with the pasta sauce and the sausages, but so the pasta sauce kind of absorbs all that chorizo oil from the chorizo sausages into the pasta sauce. And then you add the pasta on top, stir thoroughly. I mean, you could, if you, and then add the pasta, the, um, the pasta water as well, just to kind of not so much thin the pasta sauce out, um, but more just to kind of bulk it out a little bit more. So, um, so yeah, 
But yeah, yeah, skinny isn't necessarily healthy. I mean, look, when you first met me, I weighed, I weighed as about as much as a wet towel, wet, soaking wet. You know. Now, 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 now I don't. I weigh a lot more than that. <laughs> I think at my heaviest, um, I weighed 100 kilos. Well, 99.9, .9, the scale said. <laughs> so, yeah. Which is amazing for me. I haven't weighed that much since, I'll admit. Or at least I hope not. But yeah. Um, but yeah, the whole skinny isn't healthy. Um, back when I was at school during my, uh, my final school exams, I disappeared for like... Um, what? About a month and a half? Because I was, I, had, I ended up having surgery and recovery times and all that. Um, and somebody was like, "Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been?" It's like I've been off ill, like in hospital and everything. And everyone was like, "Oh my god, you know." Oh, and I was like, "Yeah." It's oh, what were you in hospital for? And it's like, "Oh, Crohn's disease." Like, oh, what's that? And I was like, explained it. And it's like, so wait, does that mean you can eat whatever you want and you always remain skinny? And I went, yeah, but I think you're missing the point here. And she goes, oh, I'd love to have that. Sorry? And she went, yeah, I'd love to eat whatever I want and stay be skinny. So I just lifted up my t-shirt and showed the whacking great scar that I've got on my stomach. And my stomach bag. I went, yeah, do you also want this as well? We're trade. You have my intestines, I'll have yours. See how we get on. I just went, oh my god, you shit in a bag. And I went, yeah, not the choice. Yeah, it's just... I mean, admittedly, to be fair, like... We were still kids. But, like, at the same time, it's just... Sorry, what? You know? Oh dear. Anyway, spider trains for world domination because apparently this is the latest conspiracy theory. I can't wait for certain white right. I can't wait for certain conspiracy groups to pick this one up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Barack Obama wants to use Arabic Mexican spider trains for world domination. Oh god, I've said it now. It's on the internet. Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> it will stay there forever. <laughs> Rebecca Barber and Hillary Clinton said in the emails that they wanted to use spider trains from. <laughs> From Afghanistan and Mexico. Good thing I'm too lazy to clip right now. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. Last night's meeting, Greg told us a crazy conspiracy about Warren trying to use spider trains for world domination. As part of the crew that worked in the temple, I'm far from convinced. While the prism was extracting the life energy from a batch of eggs, Charles attacked us for the first time. Not only did he fight like hell while the eggs were being destroyed, he nearly doubled in size as he fought, as if he was consuming the energy. His legs grew larger and stronger, while his face grew more distorted right before our eyes. Those who survived can't even fathom what we witnessed. That was when a Warren hid the eggs and ordered it. We also stuck with the music playing. Hid the eggs and ordered us to protect them. That was when he began evacuating people. That was when everything turned for the worst. I know Warren has plenty of skeletons in his closet, but I can't help thinking he might actually be looking out for us this time. Oh dear. The archivist, in all your radiant glory. Oh, you sound like a dick. Paul entrusted me with a key to one of the mines containing an egg. But before I give it to you, I have to warn you about something. There's an ancient shrine on the island, a pyramid of sorts, with a curious prism located at the top. 
The prism seems to have been designed for one purpose, to destroy monster eggs. Three slots are carved into the prism, which perfectly fit the eggs. When fully loaded, a massive beam of energy is emitted. Be. No worries. From See you in a moment. Themselves. The mutineers hope this event will lure Charles to a mortal fight as he comes in defense of the eggs. Now for the real warning. Charles has the ability to absorb energy from the burst, strengthening and enraging him. We saw it once before, and he may become even more dangerous this time. However, it's not my place to oppose, despite the danger. So, here's the mind key. I need to stop headbutting the mic. Sorry. Once you have retrieved all the eggs and the key to the shrine, we might just be able to end this hell. Okay. Mine or the tomb? Right. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to do like a f almost a full loop of the island to get back to Buddy Boy, Santiago. That's fine. Kind of hope we don't run into Charles again, because I don't have the scrap to repair the train if we do. Okay, wow, for a second I thought Charles was in here because of that loud clanking noise. Turns out the water was boiling and the lid was loudly moving up and down and banging against the bar. <laughs> oh no. I, I I don't hold any responsibility if you um, have train-related nightmares this evening. I bear no responsibility. <laughs> Okay, I'm fine. I'm curious. Okay. Yep, that works. Oh my god, the train. Didn't realize the train was actually taking damage. Good to know. Oh. 
Right, I'm gonna need to find a but sort of more scrap, I think. Where's that actually give me? One, okay. Good news is, is that I know I can kill those dudes, provided they are near the train. Been digging for over a month and I'm beginning to wonder at what we're really doing here. Those ancient there are ancient stone ruins above ground as well as being ruins discovered underground. Some sort of temple in a large cavern was uncovered at the uh, one of the other mines. Are we really digging for gold veins? I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But considering how all those dudes had, like, some form of... You know... They're basically wearing Charles masks, which is slightly terrifying in its own right. Right. Uh, this is the place I need to find the barrels for Bob, for Bob the Gun, named after Bob the Husband. Question is, is where they actually are. I guess there's got to be someone who worships the evil that's out there. I mean, very true. Oh. Bob acquired. There we are. Shame I can't loot these bastards. I also love how this is a sawn off pump action, apparently. I think. Right, where am I going from here then? That is the mine. Okay. <laughs> hey Bob! Hey Billy! Okay, they don't seem to overheat. I like that. Oh, it's not Bob, is it? It's Ron, isn't it? Hey, Ron. Hey, Billy. That's a great fucking clip. <laughs> Hey, Ron. Hey, Billy. That fucking hurt. <laughs> really? Oh, shit. Oh, I've already been here. I'm going to keep Bob equipped for now, I think. Oh boy! Where are you? That's interesting. He was not interested in following me. At all. I wonder if he doesn't like bridges. Maybe he was busy eating snacks. Probably. What would a demon spider train snack on, I wonder? Would it be 
demon fly mopeds, maybe? I mean, I mean, people is the obvious answer, but... I was trying to think outside the box. Um... Hi. Cheesy popcorn. Maybe. Hey, aren't you the new guy who's come here to work for us? You must be. There's something at the top of these towers that I need. And don't worry, I won't make you work for free. <laughs> I'm a nice enough guy to pay you. I'm a nice enough guy to pay you. You see, Mr. Warren never told anyone from the mainland about his mining operation here. He never even reported the cave-in. He hasn't paid us since then. Our living quarters are atrocious, and I'm far overqualified for the pay I'm supposed to receive. To top it all off, none of us miners ever received copies of our pepperwork. But that doesn't affect my subordinates as much as someone with my status. I'm gonna sue the pants off of Warren once I escape this island, and I need those files to prove that he breached our contract. He keeps all his files at the top of these towers. I could explain how I ascertained this, but I doubt it would make sense to you. Problem is, he erected these towers years before we ever started mining, and now they're falling apart. Oh, like my government. I could scale them myself, but since you're here, go sniff around for those files. <laughs> As a reward, you can have one of my useless pieces of scrap. I bet you'd love to have it. Why do I get the feeling this is... <laughs> laugh cries. <laughs> Fake laugh, hiding real pain. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is not the time, Charles. I hope he doesn't go and attack the train when I'm not actually fucking there. That would be kind of mean. I don't think he can, but my train is all the way over there. Ooh, lime green paint. Ugh, oh no. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. This is a fucking jumping puzzle and a half. This little scrappy pool, thank you. Oh no! God damn it. Up over here, and then carefully. There we are. Oh, there he is. Um. So, to answer your question, no, he can't get to me.
Oh, lovely! He can go through there! Lovely! Oh boy! Oh, there we are. That was neat. Yeah. Right, dinner time for me. Maybe I'll pop again pop it in again later. This that was great fun. Yeah, no worries, enjoy your meal. Setting the foundation for this operation can be considerably more complicated than I expected. Not only by cost, but the logistics of the construction, delivery of supplies to the remaining to the primary mine sites. We'll need to strike gold fast if we're to avoid any chance of bankruptcy. Thanks for the stream. No worries, thank you for being here. It's amazing to see you in stream. Alright. How is fucking old man Warren Charles, Warren Charles supposed to do this? Jesus. Also, what a filing system, eh? You look like a monkey climbing those towers. <laughs> I sure am glad I found these files. Here's that scrap you were begging for. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> kind of a dick. There's my train. Grady Poo. Safe space. Where are you? Oh, big yellow box. How could I have missed that? Uh, I'm gonna go with armor. A little bit of speed. Probably shouldn't have spent all that scrap, but there we are. Right. So, we need to go... We need to reverse, actually. To there. Come to this island, they said. We found something interesting for your museum, they said. Oh, by the way, to get it, you need to uh, fight a demon tr spider train. I like the orange. Let's go with the orange. Okay, Bob was certainly fucking worth it. I'm 
I have Santiago's journal. I do, okay. Damage upgrade is 20 scrap. Oh, a little voodoo doll. What will happen if you ram Charles with the train? I think I've also only got like two more levels left of uh... of armor to buy. So apologies for the framey, uh, there's not really a lot I can do about it, to be perfectly honest. Oh, that's, the that's that, okay. Can't do anything about the frame rate. Which is kinda sucks, but Oh hello. Oh I can go right through, it's fine. Okay. Let's see if there's any more scrap around here. I didn't check upstairs last time. Doesn't appear to be any scrap. Slightly disappointing. I don't think I get. I don't think that's actually upgrading how fast I go, but how quickly I get up to that speed. More than anything. Yeah, it is.
Oh, I need to change. Go up. That way. Oh, wrong way. Change the tracks, Kurdish. Come on. the archivist that Eugene told us about. Tony Tittle. What are you tiddling today, Tony? We're happy you came to help us out of this predicament with Charles and that madman Warren. You know, that old train of yours will need some major upgrades if you want to take down Charles. I'm working on it. There are some metal scraps in my barn that you could use to improve it. I'm sensing a butt here. Here's the key to the barn. It's just up the path, but... Oh, thank you. Still missing one more weapon. I haven't got all of them. One more that would go... Actually, two weapons. Yeah, one would go here, and I'm assuming there will always be... Like, these... I think these all should be full. Well, there's one more weapon. Alright, let's do you next. Actually, as you're the last person down here, let's go sort you out. Like Charles is probably going to make another appearance. Why does this NPC have to be out in the middle of nowhere? Um... Hi! Well, hello darling! Lisbeth Murkwater. Oh dear. Uh, let's do that. I 
making a fresh stew with ingredients for my very own swamp. But I don't have any meat at the moment. I smell a carcass on the island in the swamp, and if you wait over there and bring it back for me, I'll pay you some scraps. I swear to God, if that... Although, you'll need to be wary of Barry, the swamp monster. Barry the swamp monster. Keep an eye out for him splashing around, and don't move if he gets close to you. As long as you stand still, he's as kind as a kitten. Yeah, probably a very large, very hungry kitten. Oh, fuck it. The shit I do for scraps. Tasty yummy swoop recipe. Swab water, salt, clover, dirt, salt, meat, any kind, human included, <laughs> and more salt. Wish it turns around to, turns around to me and goes, I am actually only 23. There's a lot of salt in your diet if it's aged through 70 fucking, 70 fucking years, isn't it? All right, let's go and try and not get eaten by Barry the fucking swamp monster. Can you please fuck off? Aha, get fucked. Oh, you were close, Jesus.
how do you catch any form of prey? The amount of fucking splashing that you do. Tell me this, Barry. How do you do it? So I'm infinitely curious. Ah, finally. What a delicacy you found. Here are those scraps I offered. Have a safe night, little one. Oh, don't you fucking remind me what's out there. Bloody demon spider train. You may, may or may not have been unleashed by a god awful mine owner. You're the last person over here. So I'm going to reverse back to here, switch the tracks and go deal with that person. Howdy. 55 scraps. Could get the last level of armor, but I feel that I'm going to need those scraps for repairs for the time being. Uh, Uda Memento. How many achievements are there? Because that's how trains work. <laughs> hey, Tony. Hi, Tony. Tony Tittle. A while since we've seen Charles, hasn't it? Oh, that wasn't a lot of scrap. What are you doing? I need my pickles. Okay.
I love the pickles. The pickles are the love. Pickles are life. I love the pickles. They make me feel the happiness. Pickles, pickles, pickles. Signed, pickles. Oh boy. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, sprint is a toggle. Okay, good to know. Or either that or my shift key is well and truly dying. Also, I don't want to know about you and your... I didn't really want to hear about you, your pickle cave. Pickles, pickle, pickles, pick, 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 pickles, signed, pickle. Ah. There's only one more set of, only one jar of pickles left on the island. Oh, no, 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 come on. Oh, no. I am nowhere near my train. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. <coughs> okay. I think that's the first time I've died to Charles. Yeah, that's actually the first time I've died to Charles. I've died three times. Do I have the pickles? I do have the pickles. Okay. That's fine. I feel like you're an in-game joke amongst the devs. <laughs> but then again, there's always like an RPG quest in most games that involves somebody who's utterly obsessed with something. So I guess it's true to form. There you go, we have a nice purple train, the colour of Twitch. There we go. We got Sparky Bit. This is an orc train, nah. Let's just go a little bit further. Stop here. Hand off the journal to uh, Santiago. That's another bunch of uh, scrap for us. I didn't think to look in here, did I? Where's the door? Where's the door? I've been praying someone from the first excavation group would just send back another bow. I guess they all think George's supply boat is still evacuating people. They're all safe and cozy on the mainland, but feel no obligation to make sure everyone else escapes. Another Charles sinking the boat isn't something anyone would expect, but still, I think I would have left this place by now. It makes me sick. Thank you so much for bringing my journal. I would hope, for your own good, that you didn't peek inside. 
But, um, here are those scraps I promised. Thank you. Sounds like Charles is just about to be on the prowl again, so I really need to get back to the train. Really need to get back to the train. There it is. Yeah, that these are the last three NPCs. And the final weapon. There we go. That's all weapon damage. So it's just speed I got left to upgrade on the train. Wonder why, despite having lock picks, you can't um you can't pick doors. I wonder. Before the cave in, I pushed a spare rail car into the canyon using my beautiful old mining train. Figured a rail car would be a fine place to hide my hide my more important belongings, especially on a rural, unfinished track. Uh, I went to get something out of my rail car in the canyon about a week ago, but some of Warren's men have built a campsite base of some sort there. I don't know how to get by, get my box safely, and I don't know how long I'll last without it. Oh, okay. Welcome to Araniram, Archivist Museum person. That's a very unusual title, but I'll take it. My apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity, if you're interested. A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in the nearby canyon, but the goons have set up a camp to protect that area, so be careful. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scraps as payment. Gee, thanks. Oh, that's literally right there. Okay. Hope Charles doesn't go on the hunt while I'm doing this. Can I actually just roll down this? No, I can't because it's one of those 
tracks that's been blocked. Here's unfortunate. That's the exact box I needed. Okay, now, one of these days I won't knock shit over. Now take these scraps and skedaddle. I don't like your evasive nature about what's in that box, sir. Alright, so we've only got... Well, we got this dude, whatever he wants to do. You're going to give me a key, presume, I'm assuming, to there, and then you've got... A weapon for me. It would be very nice. Then that'll be all the weapons. Even more speed. I really want to find a red paint. I think that would be most appropriate right now. <laughs> Oh, Cornish, why would it be most appropriate? Don't you know, you get Red ones go faster. <laughs> why do you think the stupid demon train goes so fast? Because it's painted red. Where are you, you big spooky bitch? Fucking heard you. Where are you?
I gotta say, I really do love the atmosphere in this game. Like, just the fogginess. That's pretty cool. Oh, hi. Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. Of course. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? Because that's the last thing, because that's something you definitely want to remove from a rocket launcher. The safety features. I'm stuck debating if Warren made us bring our families to this hell soul so that we'd never need to leave or to keep information about his business practices away from the mainland. Either way, I want that man in a noose. Jesus. Paul asked me to design a new weapon for the, for the monster hunter that Eugene is sending. And knowing what I know what I do about explosives, you can bet I made the most powerful rocket launcher I could. Warren, you don't stand a chance. Jesus. Alright, where am I going? There. Okay. Have a little whoopsie doodle in this tower, see if there's anything good. Oh, hi. I I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. Uh, n name's Greg, by the way. I in case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mine boss, is keeping three monster eggs locked away. We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures. To prevent this, we, we need you to steal all three and, and use them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. Uh, one one of the eggs is is in the north mine. Uh, here's here's the key to the entrance. I need to write down this theory down fast before Warren finds out I'm, I'm onto his dirty plot. My theory is that Mr. Warren Warlord the Third is trying to hatch and raise more of those eight-legged critters, a whole army for who knows what purpose. They found a whole nest of those eggs while clearing out debris from the cave-in. We also know they're hard as diamonds, completely indestructible. Miners spent months using the temple prism to suck out the energy of all the eggs, but before they could destroy the last three, old man Warren stopped them. Warren must have realized how powerful these things are, and would rather than protect us from them, wants to use them to take over the world. I'm on to you, Warren! Signed, Greg. Parentheses, genius extraordinaire. Right... Oh, that's all the way over there. Okay, that's fine. But I kind of want to stop there-ish. Bomb. Am I going to need that to blow the door open? Sounds feasible, doesn't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> you were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. It's all the way. Okay, game. Version 1 failed. Version 2 failed. Version 3, 13 second flight. Version 4, success. Okay.
Oh, I can't make that. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Hello, you spooky bitch. Jesus. That should be slapped the train. He is getting faster. Speed Demon. is in complete working order so I'll let you take it from here All right. oh, and take good care of it after you're done I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift oh even the ammunition uh, changes color as well that's quite neat Right, who have I got left? I've got whoever is up there, and then to go and actually grab the eggs. Uh, what I may do is circle back to here and here and switch the rail line, so I basically just do a loop up and around like this. Um... I come down this way. It's a little bit awkward, this. Uh... Right, we've just had a Charles encounter, so we should be good for a little while. I mean, I should have enough time to get to what looks like the lighthouse. Find out what the mission is and get back. Before Charles decides to come in and make me regret all my decisions. In theory. Although you bet your ass that uh, I'm going to have a look around for more scrap. Because this is going to be my lifeblood. will definitely increase our chances of being spotted. Here are those scraps I promised. Oh, that you get me. Oh, wow, you're not in a good way. Uh, please deliver a letter to Paul. I went outside to do a routine check of the lighthouse. As I walked around the corner of the bean, I saw that beast, Charles. He spotted me and charged straight up the hill in my direction. Uh, that spider train is a hideous monster. I can't understand why Warren, why Warren wants us to stay on Arnarium. 
instead of trying to escape the beast. I suppose Warren has simply gone crazy, thinking he can handle the situation on his own. Any case, Charles ran right over me, trampling my leg. I won't be able to attend the upcoming meeting, and I've asked Greg to bring back a copy of your notes if possible. You need help! Don't. Don't do that. Don't start the music. I'm far away from my train. Christ. Imagine if this was something akin to, um, like Amnesia instead in terms of playstyle. Jesus. Right. Uh Hmm. Oh cool, you're pointing the right way, that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll loop up, grab that north egg, come back this way, go up to here, stop here, and then grab the last egg. There he is, over there in the distance. Visitors allowed!
<laughs> Says who would what up? Terrifying the fact they're wearing fucking Charles masks. Okay, so that's my way out, I think, after I've collected the egg. Make sure nobody goes near the egg. If you see anyone that shouldn't be here, shoot immediately. No, no risks can be taken. As soon as it finishes, kill it and bring the body to me. Oh, come off it. Who's that? Come on. They're going to chase me all the way back to the train, aren't they? Yes, yes they are. Holy shit. What do you think I'm doing? I'm leaving. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you still chasing me?
Get wrecked, idiot. Alrighty. Now, really, our only concern now is... Big Boy himself. And here he comes. But you know, this is fine. It's that one I need to have a look at. See whether or not it's going the right way. So here's what we will do. I don't know those guys respawn. Yeah, about that.
tried and we failed. By the time we managed to clear the wreckage, everyone had already passed. I'm saddened, truly distraught. I thought of these men like brothers, causing these circumstances to cut deeper than I could, ever could have imagined. Jesus. Poor bastards. I call it a mine. A mine! Supposedly that's what I'm in at the moment. Walking on the railroad. Hey! Oh, fucking hell. Hey, the bitch. Bye. Just fucking shoots the rope. Uh oh. Trying to be here. Ow. Ow. Yoink. Ah! Oh no. So little health. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, it's so far away. The last thing I need right now is the fucking Charles to show up. 
I am leaving so much blood all over the island. <laughs> I'm gonna pop that there just in case fucking Charles makes an appearance. What's with the masks? Well, I don't understand. Oh, I was miles away, bud. Come on, up. fucking open up! What's that guy? Over there! Oh boy. There we go. Final fight. slowly and lay flat on the ground you'll hurt far too many people if you follow through with whatever you're planning too late no no you fool you doomed us all oh hi charles oh you're a Fucking big boy now. Oh, you're a such a big boy. Oh, he's got Warren. All right, well, Warren met his demise. For being a bastard. Shoot him till he's dead. Oh, he's Hell Childs now. Oh. Uh oh. Oh god, he has stages. Oh, it's overheated. Oh, that's fucked. Oh no, now what? Hey, that's not fair.
Come on. Oh, now what? Come on. Ooh. Time for the big boy. Okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay. I beat the train, yeah. Oh no, I didn't beat the train. Well, I beat that train. Was lurking for the final fight. <laughs> oh, there was one more egg. Oh, there was not one more egg. Oh. <laughs> there was there's even a train like I can't I don't have a mouse cursor. Under there's a there's a fucking train. There was a train under so there was a there was an overhang in the yellow eggs there was an overhang and there was a little train face. Oh man. That was a 96% achievement run. There's only one more achievement I haven't got, and that's to find all the paint cans. That was brilliant. That was... That was actually a really good game. And if I want to go back and do the, um, I don't think actually anyone's, well, considering this game has been out literally hours. Yeah, zero guides available. So it's just a case of trying to find where all the, uh, all the paint is. Wow. It looked like good fun. It was good fun. Like, it was suspenseful at the right moments. I only died three times. Um, and only one of those was to Charles. Mainly because he, he managed to get me when I was not in the train. 
There were a couple of moments where he almost got me. But not but not quite. Like um going into the bunker to get the ammunition so that the guy would give you the rocket launcher. Um He almost got me then. But here's the interesting thing in that end cutscene. There was one red egg. Charles is red. All the other eggs were greens, blues. Oh no, no, no there wasn't. There was more than one one red egg. On what would be on the left hand side of the screen, there was a bunch of red eggs. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Immediately that theory is disproven. <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. That was a really fun game. The train just slowly backs away as you quit. Oh, that was so fun. That was really fun. I think... That is where I'll end it for today's stream. Mainly because I'm going to have to dip in an hour and a half anyway, and that's not really enough time to kind of get into anything. Um, so yeah, that was that was... That was fantastic fun. Not a lot of replayability. Um, which sucks. Unless I want to go back and just find all the paint cans. That's kind of about it. Um, Alright, that was cool. I'm glad I stopped by. Thank you for being here. Um, Yeah, thank you for being here. It's great to see you in chat again, Sophie. Um... I think actually you missed like my entire playthrough of the long dark, the story mode. At least what what's available, at least. Um, it's great to see you on screen again. Yeah, I like streaming. Um, also, here's a thing. When am I? So. I think my last stream for the year is probably going to be the 21st of December. Because the following stream day is a Friday, and that's also my birthday. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm going to be doing stuff. Um, so chances are I won't be streaming. Um, in January, I'm going to do a little bit of a... Not necessarily a video, but definitely a, um, what's it called? I guess kind of like a bit of an update as to where, what the direction I want to go with the channel and stuff like that. Um, but I think days of today, Friday. So Sunday, as far as I'm aware, I've got Divinity coming up. Um... Monday, I think we'll do Project Zomboid with mods. So that'll be a solo game. <clears throat> Unless I can ask um, Jones very nicely to put it on the server box uh, for the Armour 3 group. We run our Armour server on that and any other kind of co-op games that we're doing at the same time. Um, but yeah, so we'll do Project Zomboid on Monday. That'll be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Probably won't be streaming on the 18th. Then the 19th, which is Monday, we'll do Zomboid. There, then and on the following Wednesday, which is 21st. And then kind of from like the 23rd through to the 2nd is going to be kind of my Christmas break, in a way. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's that. I also kind of said that you know, in January we'll do the direction that the channel is going in. And here I am talking about the direction the channel's gonna go in for the next couple of weeks. Oh dear. Anyway, um yeah, so I who do we raid? It's a good question. I think my one regret with this is that I didn't get a chance to record. I didn't hit the record button in OBS, which is kinda of sad. But I also think that would have taken up a lot of space. Uh, I oh Jesus! I'm gonna raid Jared because he's also playing this, and I want to have a chat with him. And he's also doing it in in a Among Us suit because 
the community made him wear it. <laughs> so I think that would be extra entertaining. But yeah, so yeah, other than that, I yeah, it's like a channel point reward thing. Let's raid, yeah. Um, but yeah, might be around Sunday. I don't know. Depends on my co-op partner. Um, if not, I'll be back on Monday at five PM UK time with Project Zomboid. All right. So thank you ever so much for being here. It's been a pleasure. Lurkers are always welcome. So if you were lurking here, thank you very much. And I will catch you guys on Sunday, if not on Monday. Cheerio, goodbye, stay safe, have a great weekend. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye!